Hey guys, how are you all? So we are going to discuss today about solar wind cyber attack which uh, recently happened. So myself is Samarjit Yadav and I welcome to you on my channel. Please watch this video up to the last so that you can understand what what happened in that solar winds, what was the attack and how it was mitigated and who was responsible for that. So let's start. Uh, we'll try to discuss about introduction to solar winds hackers what was the hackers plans what happened and losses what to do now and what are the mitigation steps at last we will try to recognize or we can uh, i can say uh, we'll try to find out who was responsible for this so first thing is that you should know about the what is solar wind actually so it's an american company uh, that develops software for business to help manage our uh, network systems and information technology and it is one of the biggest or you can say a major US information technology firm and it, is, it was founded in 1999 in Austin Texas so basically what what solar winds do solar winds uh, have, uh, um, maybe I think uh, near about 33,000 of public and private sector customers right and uh, what what they are uh, selling their product oran oran which is used for mainly it purpose so uh, it provides services to huge number of clients and uh, many of them famous are like uh, microsoft and fireeye so the attack happened on this particular product oran oran platform and oran already installed by huge number of uh, customers uh, customers in the sense of solar wind because solar wind have uh, near about 33,000 of customers who have uh, Oran platform uh, in which Microsoft and uh, FreeEye and others are always also involved so what was the hackers plan so uh, many of people are thinking that it was started in 2020 but it is not they they were uh, started uh, exploring all the things in the year 2019 from the march onwards so after exploring all the things uh, they thought they should should make a normal dll process so that uh, no antivirus will detect it so made so they made a malware which was very simple and having a, a normal dls process so they they research they recon everything before exploiting their uh, malware so the that malware name was sunburst and uh, sunburst uh, you can say is a solar winds digitally signed component of the orion software framework that contains a backdoor that communicates via http to third party servers so sunburst has been widespread uh, across organization in supply chain attack right so what was the what is the uh, supply chain attack it's very simple uh, once our attack happened it will uh, you can say if one one system is comp compromised then it will uh, go further and it will take the other uh, systems as well which is in the same network you can say and they execute this file in the updating version of oran whose password was very weak and that was solar wind one two three so this this is this was the first mistake made by uh, solar wind because their password was very weak then let's let's understand the scenario first that what was happened and what was the losses so it was all started in the year uh, september 2019 so a threat actor access to solar winds right and then on september 12th to uh, November 4th the threat actor injected test code and perfumed a trial run so it was a trial run uh, till November 4 2019 nobody uh, was aware about this on December 2019 uh, it comes forward and the hackers access at least one of the solar winds office 365 accounts by December 2019 so from here in the December so in the year December 2019, the hackers access at least one of the SolarWinds Office 365 accounts by December 2019 and then leapfrogged uh, to other Office 365 accounts used by the company CEO Sudhakar Ramkrishna said some email accounts were compromised that led them to compromise the other email accounts and as a result our broader 365 environment was compromised as he said. 
but in the in the fab 20 what what happened in the 2020 of fab 20 so sunburst attack was compiled and deployed so this was the first date february 20 2020 where when the sun bus actually was compiled and deployed before that they were just trial and uh, performing the trial run uh, you can you can better understand with this this scenario that uh, what actually happened the firstly uh, it was happened you can see uh, firstly it was a threat actor accessed solar vision in the september 19 then on 12 september they inject a trial run after that on 11th uh, 4th of November test code injections ends and then they uh, on the 20s uh, you can say 20 uh, fab the the sunburst was compiled and deployed where it was uh, deployed definitely it was the uh, orange platform and it was uh, uh, updating version you can say on 26 March, hot, uh, Hotfix 5 DLL available to customers means there was a DLL file which was available to all customers. And so once they all uh, every customer of uh, SolarWind updated their uh, so, uh, Orion platform so that it also uh, executed this uh, this DLL file. Then uh, threat actor removes malware from build uh, VMs and again on 12th of December 2020 SolarWinds notified of Sunburst then on 14th of December this was happened that files 8k and notify shareholders and customers 15th December uh, this was happened they releases a software to fix it and uh, at the last 17th uh, December so US cert alert uh, uh, issued a alert and now after that uh, 11th Jan uh, it's it is still investigation is going on but before that before that who was the first uh, first organization who reports that definitely it's it was the fire eye so on Tuesday December 8 to 11 fire eye was the first person who checked that there there is a, some uh, traffic which was communicating to uh, outside and it was showing as a command and control so they figure out all the things and they they figure out that find out that solar wind was involved and solar wind was attacked so they explored all the things and contacted to solar wind and again so roughly uh, as as per the resources roughly 198 organizations are uh, were hacked using the solar wind backdoor and uh, let's say who got infected so organizations such as cisco there are very very big names cisco systems intel nvidia vmware belkin had installed the infected solar wind and software though it's unclear if the hackers actually took additional steps once the infected software found its way into those organizations and uh, the very important things is that what to do now uh, what what should be the mitigation steps so definitely uh, we have we have to follow some some points let's say uh, there is a release version of March 2020 and June 2020 so just uh, uh, update update that uh, latest version of Orion platform and make sure that you have removed these two files backdoor and dot sunburst and backdoor dot web shell so you will have to search these two files in, in your environment whether it is present or no if it is present please delete that file and again use the indicator of compromises i i will share all the uh, uh, iocs let's say uh, ip domains hashes urls everything is available in the below description please check all the description uh, please check the description and find out all the iocs and check in your environment whether it is present or not and block them so second mitigation is that and perform a comprehensive security sweep to review and harden your physical and cloud infrastructure and then the as i said uh, you will have to upgrade to our iron platform version 2020.2.1 so the attacking version was 2019.4 but you will need to uh, upgrade it to 
2.1 hf2 and restore systems once you will confront with the previous steps so as i said also iocs has been added in the descriptions i hope you 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 will uh, have to understand these things these scenarios all the case study of uh, um so, sorry solar winds definitely and uh, many of the investigations let's say microsoft has done the inf investigations fire high has done the investigation and also uh, other organization so every organization is telling every organization's investigation is telling that russian was the first uh, uh, involved in this even the fbi fbi is also telling that russia is involved in uh, in this attack but or uh, Russia has uh, denied any involvement with the breach or former president Donald Trump had suggested without evidence that Chinese hackers may be uh, may be the culprits but uh, but the within White House has said it may respond to the cyber attack in the coming weeks which could include actions against the Russian government so basically even even the investigation is still saying that there there might be uh, more malware uh, apart from this uh, you can say sunburst so this uh, if if anything uh, i will find or i i will uh, explore more then if i will find anything definitely i will uh, update it there uh, but as of now uh, that's it from my side i think i hope you will understand these uh, case study because it's it's one of the latest st attack and in every interview definitely uh, your interviewer is going to ask this question that what uh, just tell the scenarios of solar wind so you can if you like this video please comment like and subscribe and you can follow us on linkedin instagram and twitter all the links uh, in the description are available and please make sure that uh, you should collect all the iocs from there so thank you so much for watching it bye bye take care